Hello everyone, welcome to Wicked West Books. I am Meg West. And these books are really heavy. <gasps> no! Okay, so this month I managed to obtain 13 brand new shiny books and I am very excited to tell you all about them. This one is going to be broken up into three categories because the first category is books that I bought for myself. The second category is books that my wonderful husband got me for Valentine's Day. And the third one is that we also had our anniversary this month, our one year anniversary. And the traditional gift is paper. So of course we bought books for each other. And I've got quite a stack, so let's jump right to it. Starting off with books that I bought for myself, I was looking forward to buying this book this month and I went out just like a couple days after it came out and bought it. Vision in Silver by Anne Bishop. It is book three in the Others series, which is an urban fantasy that is completely different from all the other urban fantasies out there. And even though this one felt more like a bridge book to me, I am looking forward to reading the rest of the series and I will devour everything that Anne Bishop puts out in this series. The next book I bought is one that you kind of have to buy when you see on the shelf and you're someone like me. Dangerous Women, Volume 1, as edited by George R. R. Martin. And this is book one in a vo three volume book set. And I figured I'd do them one at a time, so I didn't take the other two home. This one has short stories from Carrie Vaughn, Megan Lindholm, Megan Abbott, Lawrence Block, Joe R. Lansdale, Cecilia Holland, and a short story also by George R. R. Martin. So I'm looking forward to being introduced to some new authors through this. The next book is The Secret Diary of Lizzie Bennet by Bernie Sue and Kate Rorick. This book is basically just some extended material for the Lizzie Bennet Diaries, which you can find here on YouTube. If you haven't watched them yet, they are a modern day adaptation to Pride and Prejudice and they are fantastic. The next book was actually mostly just an impulse buy. I had no intention of buying it, but then everyone on booktube was giving it such great reviews. Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetys. This is a historical fiction, takes place during World War II, and follows four teenagers from their four perspectives, and it took me less than a day to get through this book because the way that Ruta wrote this book, where each chapter is from a different viewpoint from one of the characters, and the chapters don't get longer than five pages. It was a very, very quick way to get through this book and I loved every second of it and I'm looking forward to buying more books by Ruta Sepetys. And the last book that I bought for myself, it was on sale and I've heard great reviews. I only learned after I bought it that it takes place on Mars, which shows just how little about this book I knew before buying it. But I'm sure I won't regret it once I get around to reading it, Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Next on the list is Valentine's Day, for which I got Dead Heat by Patricia Briggs, which is the newest book in the Alpha and Omega series. Patricia Briggs is one of my most favorite authors of all time, and she is also one of my auto-buy authors. I don't even have to know what it's about and I will buy her books. Next, he got me a brand new bookmark, which is this one right here. It says, you say wicked like it's a bad thing. This is a fantastic bookmark for me to have. Next, for Valentine's Day, I got a Sherlock Holmes journal. I have not figured out necessarily what I'm going to use it for yet, but it is absolutely gorgeous and I am very happy with it. And the final Valentine's Day gift is a signed copy of The Air by Kira Cass. I absolutely love the selection series by Kira Cass, which completely, completely surprised me when I went into it. The way that she wrote it and the way that the characters interacted with each other and the way they developed through the series really surprised me as well as the writing style and I absolutely loved the series and I am really looking forward to book two. I want it in my hands right now so that I can find out who she ends up with. 
And the final pile, which is actually the biggest pile and not quite complete because apparently I still have one book that's on the way and my husband feels it's actually going to be my favorite out of the anniversary books, but I can't tell you about that one till it gets here. The first three books that I got get mentioned together because they are a series by one author and I was very, very happy to get this series. In all hardback, of course. The Alloy of Law by Brandon Sanderson. Shadows of Self by Brandon Sanderson. And The Bands of Mourning by Brandon Sanderson. This is the Alloy of Law trilogy. It is part of the Mistborn world, which I have here, and it's the only Brandon Sanderson novels that we own that's not in hardback which is something we plan on fixing sometime soon. This book series takes place in that same world just 100 or 200 years, I don't remember exactly what the time is, in the future. And actually, I have read Alloy Law, I read it last year, right when I finished Mistborn, and I loved it more than the entire Mistborn series. I loved it that much. So the fact that I've got the entire trilogy now from my husband for our an one year anniversary, I am I'm very happy with this and looking forward to the when I get a chance to actually reread Alloy and finish out the trilogy. The next book is the one my husband informed me cost the least to him because it was a used book and we got it and found out it was actually a, a old library copy, so it's not in the best condition, but I'm still looking forward to reading it. It is a book on German hero sagas and folk tales. I'm assuming they're gathered by Barbara Leone Picard, so I'll get to read that. Since I'm learning German, I am looking forward to reading this book. And the next two books I'm even more excited about is also because I'm learning German. Original Bavarian Folk Tales a Seanworth selection, dual language, it is in English and German, and Grimm's Fairy Tales, dual language. And the basis of these two books is that you have the story written in German on one page, and then you have the story written in English on the page next to it. So once you have enough German that you can kind of work your way through these stories, you read the German, and if there's a word you don't know, You've got the English translation right there, and you can f learn what it is and continue reading the books. And I am very excited to getting to the point where I get to read these. I've been meaning to read the Grimm's Fairy Tales for forever. The only one I've ever read is The Little Mermaid, and I would love to see just how dark and twisted the rest of them are. Okay, so that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have read any of the books that I haven't read, uh, go ahead and give me your opinions down below. And I have the wrap-up that I posted yesterday, and you got two videos this week. I will see you guys next week. Have a wicked day. Yay! Lots and lots of books.